It's happening a little bit later than last year, but the first big flagship smartphone of 2022 is finally here, the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus. Now I should start off by saying that we're not gonna be covering the S22 Ultra in this video because that phone is a completely different animal. Spoiler alert, the Note is back. So don't forget to check out our other videos on the S22 Ultra and the new Galaxy Tab S8. Okay, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. For the S22 and S22 Plus, which start at $800 and $1,000 respectively, Samsung is going with a very similar design to what we got on the S21, but with a couple of tweaks. There's an updated range of colors, including black, white, green, and pink, the latter of which might actually be the best looking one of the bunch. Around back, Samsung is sticking with its contour cut design, along with support for three cameras, a wide, ultra wide, and a 3X telephoto. Okay, so this far, things are feeling pretty familiar. When it comes to new improvements, Samsung is really focusing on three main areas, better guts, better displays, and a ton of photo and video upgrades. Both the S22 and S22 Plus come with eight gigs of RAM and either 128 or 256 gigs of storage, with Samsung going with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, at least in the US. For folks in Europe and Asia, you'll likely be getting an Exynos 2200 processor instead. As for their screens, the S22 features a 6.1 inch, 120 hertz full HD plus display that's actually a tiny bit smaller than the S21 6.2 inch screen. Meanwhile, the S22 Plus gets a 6.6 .6 inch display that's a step down from the 6.7 inch screen on last year's S21 Plus. So for all of you who keep complaining that phones keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year, your pleas have been heard. And for everyone else who isn't down with Samsung's curvy edge displays, both the S22 and S22 Plus come with flat screens. But the biggest upgrades on the S22 screen are significantly better brightness and improved image quality, both outdoors and in low light. Samsung says the S22 can hit a peak brightness of 1750 nits in direct sunlight, with the standard S22 topping out a bit lower at around 1300 nits. But that's still pretty big upgrades from last year. Meanwhile, to make sure content looks good in any environment, Samsung created a new feature called Vision Booster, which uses sensors to measure ambient light conditions before boosting things like contrast and color saturation. But the camera department is clearly where Samsung spent the most time, and after facing increased competition from Apple and Google, the S22 definitely needs a big boost to keep up. In addition to a new OIS system, the S22 is also getting a new advanced auto framing feature that can track up to 10 subjects to keep them looking sharp and in frame. And in low light, the S22 and S22 Plus's wide angle sensor has pixels that are 23% larger than before, which gets combined with Samsung's Tetra Binning Tech to combine four pixels into one for even better nighttime shots. Samsung says it's also using a new AI stereo depth map technique so that the S22 can more accurately gauge distances. So portrait shots have better bokeh control and studio lighting effects. Some other notable new features includes a new digital wallet, which is designed to stash things like your ID, credit card info, and even your digital car keys right on your phone. And thanks to a partnership with Google, the S22 is getting a new exclusive live sharing feature in Google Duo. So you can watch shows or clips with your friends during a video call. Sadly, during a short hands-on session, the digital wallet and live sharing in Google Duo weren't available for testing. So stay tuned for more on those. And then rounding out the rest of the package is a laundry list of flagship specs. So let's tackle these rapid fire style. Both the S22 and S22 Plus come with support for 5G, both sub six and millimeter wave, 15 watt wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, and an ultrasonic in-screen fingerprint reader. The S22 has a 3,700 milliamp hour battery that's actually down slightly from the S21, along with 25 watt wire charging. Meanwhile, the S22 Plus gets a 4,500 milliamp hour power pack and faster 45 watt wire charging. The S22 Plus also has ultra wideband tech that the standard S22 doesn't get, which could be important for people thinking about using those digital car keys. And that's about it for now. A few tweaks on the outside and a bunch of new guts on the inside, which is what really counts. Now, we've only had a little while to play around these devices, but after debuting fresh new designs on last year's S21, it really feels like Samsung is doubling down on new tech and features for the S22. And in my book, that's a really good starting place for Samsung's next flagship phones. Now, we just gotta wait for the phones to get in our hands so we can check them out for real. So don't forget to throw us a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss our upcoming reviews.